What's up y'all? It's Maddie from Mad Art and today I'm going to be doing a little something different on my channel. I haven't done one of these videos. Actually, I take that back. I did do one. It was like um, a glow-in-the-dark skull, but it was like so long ago. It was one of the first things I ever painted on my face and I just, you know, I need to put some new content out there for face painting. So that's what I'm here to do today. Today I'm going to be doing a lizard or like, yeah, a lizard. I was going to say a snake, but I think I'm going to lean more towards lizard than snake. So yeah, I'm going to be using some Maran face paint makeup. This is a water-based paint, so or water activated paint so basically you just wet your brush and it activates the paint um in my opinion that is the best to get um face paint wise um is water activated paints i also have some cream paints and um other stuff like that but in my opinion and in my experience this is the best and I love this this was like a hundred dollars I do believe and it's totally worth every penny because you have so many colors in here so many shades and the pans are pretty large so you get a good amount of use out of this palette so if you're interested in face painting 10 out of 10 recommend. Alright, so enough talking. Let's just get straight into the tutorial. Well, I'm going to kind of do like a tutorial slash like transformation video because there's a lot of steps. So I don't want to be like a step one, do this, step two, do this because it's going to take forever. So I'm just going to kind of give you like the main basics of what I'm doing and then I'm just going to probably speed through all of the rest all right so let's get on to it all right so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is kind of just doing the outline of where I'm going to put the shapes the main shapes and like the main face structure so I'm just going to pick one face color or face paint color and just kind of like stencil out where I want everything to be The next thing that I'm going to be doing is using these little rhinestones. It really doesn't matter what color rhinestones you use because I'm going to be painting right over the top of them. And I'm going to glue them right along this line to give me some raised texture.
Alright, now I'm going to change into a shirt that I don't care about, which I probably should have done in the beginning, but you live and you learn. And then I'm going to paint my ears and my neck yellow, and then I'm going to add some fun details to this. Okay, so I figured out how I kind of want to do my hair. I kind of want to do like a slick back, like poof, and like straight hair. So my ears are kind of kind of be showing. So I painted them yellow originally, but I kind of want to add some dark green to my ears to make them kind of, you know, disappear in the back. They're not so much like, look, here's my human ears, you know? And then I think we're going to add a few scales from like the outside and I'm debating on adding a few more rhinestones like right here on the cheek. I think that will really make it look so much better. All right, let's do it. Alright guys, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my James Charles palette. This is a makeup palette, um, an eyeshadow palette, so I'm actually going to be mixing a little bit of eyeshadow with the paint. And I'm going to be taking some of these really dark green colors here at the bottom. And maybe some of this black and just kind of like putting a little bit around my eyes. And then I'm going to put some lashes on and I'm going to put some bottom lashes as well.
All right, everybody, this is our finished lizard look. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. I had such a fun time making it. And I'm going to definitely take some pictures and um, edit some contacts and, like, probably my tongue and stuff. So, um, you can check out my Instagram, Maddie underscore Andrews underscore art. And you can see all of the looks that I've done. I'm going to start doing more videos on the actual face paint because people really enjoy watching my live videos of me doing it. So I thought, why not? Let's put them on YouTube. So anyways, I hope you like the look.